<clears throat> oh, 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 oh. Uh, get this where it needs to go. Hopefully that's not clipping. Because if it is, get to record the whole thing over again. <sighs> Guys, this is pretty much my favorite part of what I do. I am a gear nerd through and through and through. I think that's probably pretty obvious for everybody out there now. Um, it is late October and a little redacted box just showed up on my doorstep. Now, why is that cool? That's cool because this is the brand new Matthews bow. Now you'll be seeing this the day that it comes out unless YouTube glitches and somehow, uh, unexpectedly drops this prior, in which case you'll never see me shooting a Matthews again. But uh, this is the new Matthews bow. It is still banded. I have not looked at it yet. I want to look at it together. And we are going to take it out of the box. You'll see a different video that are my impressions of it after I've shot it for a little while, but we're going to get this out of the box. We are going to talk about the new features on it, and we are going to build it together. Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's pop these bands off. God, this is literally my favorite thing in the world. I'll try not to cut myself here. How funny would it be if you literally cut your own finger? Well, not funny at all, actually, but it'd be ironic if I was unable to... Uh, actually shoot it because I stab myself in the hand after it. it. Guys, what do we have here? ASMR for all you people. Ooh. Got the box excited there. Blowing the rest out at me. Oh, baby. Alright, we opened her upside down. Does not matter. This thing is tiny. And light. Ooh. Love me a good hat. Alright, some stickers, owner's manual. Who needs that? You have me. Whoa, look at that cam. Ooh. Behold the brand new Matthews lift. This thing is sweet. 29 and a half inch ATA. Love it. Built for yours truly. All right, well, we definitely have the integrated stabilizer lock on here and the bridge lock for the site that we have grown to love. I'm going to pop a new B Real grip on here. Let's get this thing in the bow press. Let's get it built up. Now, the first thing I'm noticing here is these limbs are swept way past parallel. Like this is wildly past parallel here, which is really cool. And this whole limb pocket, and not only limb pocket, but kind of cam side here just looks super wide and stable. So I think this is just going to be a really stable bow. I mean, obviously, look, Matthews knows what they're doing. I think the hardest job in the world would be having to be an engineer at Matthews because coming up with brand new things over and over and over again would just be brutal. All right, so my first impressions looking at this, this cam system is a major change of pace from those cross-centric cams that we've seen before. And I mean... For as long back as I can remember, Matthews has been running that cross-centric cam. So we've had the Halons, the Halon 32s, uh, et cetera, into all those cam systems. They have been phenomenal. But now we have this new cam, which is the XMS cam. This thing kind of looks like the old school Matthews cam some, and this thing looks like she going to be fast. 
I cannot wait to play with this. Also, we have on here on the grip shot sense compatibility. Who knows what that is? I'm gonna pop this B real grip on here. So look inside here. We got a little sensor. So we'll have to see what that's all about. I'm a big fan of these Ultra View grips, by the way. I just like the way they fit into the, the pad of my hand. Um, if you haven't shot them, check them out. Or shoot the Matthews one. Don't care. Really like that. Oh, guys, this bow is going to be deadly. All right, we're going to go throw this on the bow press. Actually, we're going to throw it in the bow vise. Uh, I'm going to throw a spot hog sight in here. That's what I'm running on this bow this year. I'm going to throw the um, <clears throat> I'm going to throw the rest on it. Uh, I've been shooting both AAE rests and also the um, the QAD rest that comes with it. Probably just going to throw the QAD on this one. Um, they're just simple, effective, work well. Not that the AAE isn't. I really like the AAE as well. And uh, probably throw some AAE bars on here. I have the Matthews bars that go in here, but I kind of like the combo of the Mountain Light AAE bars, and I'm looking at a couple of them right here on my shelf. So that'll be easy. Uh, I'm also missing the back bar piece to run on the Matthews. So uh, might switch that up at a later date. Stay tuned for a video, but we'll check on that. Overall... This thing is super light. It has been a lot of weight, it looks like, taken out of this riser here. Um, although really impressed with how stable looking it is. Also looks like they have the clips on here that you can run the strap on. Overall, it's impressive looking. All right, let's get her set up because this is coming with me on a couple hunts upcoming soon and it's going to need to function well because uh i'm shooting that phase 4 33 absolutely lights out now on this build i'm going to try a couple things a little differently i was watching levi morgan's video on the manimal channel uh, that he just put out about how he built his phase 4 33 to win a championship which he ironically did but shocker levi is a freak um but what I want to do is I want to try running just one knock point on the bottom. Uh, I've actually never done that before, and it makes a lot of sense of just putting upward pressure on the knock as opposed to pinching down on it. So I like that. I'm going to run one just one knock point there. Uh, other than that, I'm going to set it up pretty normal. So I'm going to put it in the bow press. I'm going to set the rest up, get the rest on there center. I'm going to tie just one knock point on the bottom, put the D-loop on. Um, we'll get the arrow dead level running dead center through the burger hole. And then what we're going to do is time the cams, shoot it through paper, make any adjustments that we need. Although probably won't need any, these things come pretty spot on. So let's throw it on the bow vise. Let's get everything set up how we want to. And, uh, let's start shooting this bow. Wow. I mean, wow. I feel like that's what you say every year when you get the new bow and you shoot it. And it's really like, you know, it's the best bow ever. You get some placebo effect. And I mean, look, they, they changed some stuff. This bow is phenomenal. Like this bow is not that. This bow is really, really, really freaking good. First, let's walk through the bow build. So obviously we took it out of the box, took it over to the vise. We put on all the accessories, front bar, uh, put on the back bar, put on the ultra rest. This new MX2 ultra rest is awesome. Did not know this was coming. This thing is sweet. I like that they integrated the rubber over mold into it. I think everybody and their brother and their mother and there's Zers out there uh, have had issues before where you put that little felt on there and then it just wears off or falls off or whatever. Brilliant. 
QAD, why don't you do this forever ago? This is a great move. Uh, so this MX2 rest was a nice surprise. Did not know that was coming. Obviously, I put the bow sight together, so I like to use a uh, like a little leveling tool. So I put it on that, get everything leveled, make sure the second axis, third axis is good, then put it in there. It just saves me time. After all the accessories were on, I set an arrow dead level uh, through the burger hole, put all the bubbles on it, make sure everything's good, tied the D-loop above it, did not tie a knocking point. Thank you, Levi. Um, for anybody that hasn't seen the video of Levi kicking my butt in a shooting contest, shocker, not like I had a chance, but really I had nothing to lose. So why not try? Uh, check that video out. But uh, tied just a knocking point on the bottom side of the knock. I actually really like it. See how it continues to perform. Obviously put the B-roll grip on, uh, got everything tied on, tied in, put the rest on, took it over to the draw board, drew the bow. Uh, I always like to check timing before I tie the rest in because otherwise, if you tie the rest in, you might be chasing your tail if you need to make adjustments to the bottom cam on that downward bus cable. Confirm that the timing was right. My timing was actually off by what I thought was a half a turn, but I ended up needing to take a full turn into it. Uh, got the timing dialed, put the rest on. Now, it's important to note, at the time, I only put a half a twist in. I then tied the rest in, timed the rest. I thought it was spot on. Once I shot it through paper for the first try, uh, I had a knock eye tear, but we'll get to that. So, put everything on, made sure the timing was right, checked everything, and then went to paper tuning. Shot it through paper, had a little bit of a knock eye tear, uh, needed to adjust the timing with one more half of a twist. Uh, so two, one full twist, two half twists went into the top cam, uh, top cable to speed up the bottom cam. And then it was a bullet hole. Walked back to 15 yards, which is what I can shoot in my basement. Why do I shoot 15 yards? That's all I can shoot. Okay. Shot that through paper, bullet hole. Pretty sweet. Uh, took it outside, just put a lot of arrows through it. Now look, that's not my final tune. I'm gonna keep shooting this thing. I've probably got, I don't know, 75, 100 shots through it now. Um, at the very end of the day, after I was just shooting around with it, kind of getting the sight set up, I shot uh, some groups with bare shafts and fletched outside. And that's really how I like to clean up my final tune. Now, uh, ultimately, if I can get a perfect bullet hole with a fletched arrow at 15 yards down here uh, in, in my man cave, I've never not had that fly well. Maybe like if I get really, 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 really picky, um, it might need like one, one micro adjust bump on the rest one way or the other. Uh, normally it'll be either up or down. Uh, but I mean, we're talking shooting bear shafts at 30 yards, 40 yards. So um, I did shoot a couple bear shaft groups at 20 yards and also 30 yards and they're all smacking. So, I mean, this thing's probably gonna be ready to go. I might make a couple minor adjustments to it before I put a sight tape on it and start hunting with it. But I mean, I'm taking 15 yard shots. So it, it if it could hunt with a bear shaft, I think it's good to go. And I mean, we were grouping at a quarter at uh, 20 yards with a bear shaft. So overall, this thing's awesome. Bow build was easy. Tune was super easy. Uh, now let's talk about some of the first impressions of this bow. So first and foremost, it is light. Sub four pounds. Uh, 29 and a half inch ATA on this. But I mean, I think it's 3.8 pounds. I'll have to get it out and measure it. It's also screaming fast. Shooting a 505 grain arrow at 290 feet per second. I mean, what more can you say? So the draw cycle, very, very smooth. It's your traditional Matthews draw cycle. It's just smooth all the way into like the world's most solid back wall. Uh, really impressive back wall, considering that it has cable stops on it. Back wall's rock solid, um, no creep, nothing. And you know, this cam, it's really kind of cool to see a new cam other than the cross-centric cam system. And this thing does not disappoint. It's impressive. So 
this bow is a shooter. Um, I'm going to get some time behind the bow with it and uh, put together a more comprehensive bow um, kind of first impressions video. But overall, the draw cycle on this, very smooth, much faster than my Phase 4. When I shot this directly compared to my Phase 4 29, it was 10 feet per second faster with a 505 grain arrow. Now granted, I'm shooting a 30 inch draw length at 70 pounds. I know that's not what everybody else out there is gonna get, but still 10 feet per second real world faster is a lot. Um, draw cycle's great. Bow is very light. I mean, this is lighter than some of the carbon bows that I've had in the past. Um, and if you were really cared about weight, which clearly, I don't care about how much weight I'm taking with me to the sand. You know, if you put some lighter accessories on it, didn't put a bunch of weight on it, this thing could be very, very light, ready to hunt. I also really like these match bow strings that they're running now. Uh, surprisingly, I mean, most factory strings are just that. They're factory strings. I've never had any issues with factory strings. I've run them all my bows, but I also don't keep bows long enough to really have it matter. Um, but these match strings seem really, really good. Did not see a ton of... Uh, change over the first 75 to 100 shots normally i'll see change something in that like 25 shot range didn't see anything here might see some later don't know uh we'll check back on that but yeah overall this matthews lift is uh very impressive so thank you for watching the video if you have any questions leave them below and stay tuned uh you well, you guys will actually see right now at the same time my impressions video of this uh, because we're delaying when it's launching. I'll get a lot of time behind this, put some critters down with it, and uh, provide some feedback. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.